Hello, everybody out there in Mile High Cairo country. Dr. Joel here, MC of Mile High Chiropractic Seminar out here. Um, right away, I got to get you to the website. You need to get to milehighchiro.org. You need to get registered. More importantly, you got to get your hotel. That we're booking up fast. We have more registrations right now than we ever had this far out from the, the conference. So if you want to stay at the hotel, we're having the conference. You need to get there and re get registered now. Get your flights. Uh, again, milehighchiro.org. It's number 11. It's our 11th year. And we are welcoming back Mr. Simon Sensen to the stage. I'm so excited to have you back. Happy to be here. It's yes. going to be exciting. Yeah, the, the Cairo 10th, we like to call out here. We, we do the science, we do the art, we do the philosophy. It doesn't matter technique, what it's just a home for chiropractors to come to. We love having the, uh, the presidents of colleges come. It's just a way to come together in the Midwest and beautiful Colorado to get our focus going on. And this year, the theme is spinal tap. I don't know if you know that. But oh, wow, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Spinal tap, and more importantly, we're going to turn it up to 11. We're going to turn it up a notch. Um, so excited to have you back. I mean, we got so many speakers this year. And when when Danny said you're coming back out, I was just getting so excited. So tell people a little about you that you don't that if they don't know who and, and the importance you are to this profession. Yeah, sure. Well, you know, I've been publishing now in chiropractic for over 20 years. Um, probably going on 30 peer-reviewed papers. Uh, we've published 16 books in the White Book series. We're working on two more right now. And um, and I just finished my PhD on the chiropractic identity literature. So lots going on. Yeah, um, when, when you were out on stage, I, I was super excited to hear you. But it, correct me if I'm wrong, but I made the mistake of, in my mind, penning you as a philosopher. But more importantly, I think you're a historian. With, with yeah, historian. And, and now with my new degree, really, I'm a social scientist. Okay. Yeah, it so was just, it was beautiful the way you presented the, the history of chiropractic, which is important for this profession, especially these this new generation coming in. We're losing a lot of the greats if we haven't lost all of them already. But to understand where we've come from as a profession is just so important to keep you centered and on the right track. In yeah. Chiropractic. Yeah. And I, and I bring it all. You know, I did a bachelor's in history. I have a master's degree in philosophy. And now I have a social science degree as a PhD besides my chiropractic degree. So, you know, I'll bring the whole package, yes. right? <laughs> history, philosophy, and now, um, you know, a whole nother level. So, um, you know, we put out a great book last year or actually earlier this year on the triune of life. So that's I'm going to be expanding on my the history of the triune of life, which will be a really interesting approach for people if they haven't, you know, dove, dived into the book. And even since I wrote the book, I've been lecturing on this topic a bit. So I've expanded on it quite a bit. Yeah, that, that's going to be fantastic because a lot of people these days, they they kind of curse, they browse over that. Oh, yeah, the triune of life. I know that. I know that. But it, I mean, you can go down the rabbit hole a long, long way talking about. The yeah. Triune. Yeah. It's really, it, it was amazing when I looked into it to see that it, the triune of life that Stevenson came up with was really sort of um, after 20 years of different kinds of triunes being described by DD and BJ and some other authors. So it's really, and then it kind of develops over time. So it's really, a, it's really important, you know, in the triune of life from Stevenson's text, Reggie Gold considered it, you know, the, the, the foundation of our philosophy, really, mm -hmm. you know, it, really the objective of chiropractic rests on that whole concept. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good for people to really get on a really deep level. And people, people can do that through your website too, right? Institute Cairo. Yeah, Institute Cairo, we're in the middle of doing a new launch. We're rebuilding the whole site and we're putting on dozens of hours of new courses. And one of them is a, is a six hour course on the history of the triune. So I'm taking this talk I'm going to give at, at Mile High and I've expanded it in the recordings to make it a real like continuing ed experience going really down the rabbit hole. I, I was going to ask you, can uh, docs get CEs through your website? Yeah. Yeah. They can do it as members. They get a, a CE discount that goes through Sherman College. So we're, we're setting up all new courses. I'm also doing a history of innate intelligence through the green books. 
And we're doing a history of subluxation theory, chiropractic subluxation theory. So there'll be all new courses. We're doing interviews. I just interviewed Graham Dobson. We did a two-hour interview. I mean, it's it's really cool what we're creating there. Yeah, fantastic. And it's it's so crucial for our profession to have have you and now to have the 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 degrees to back it up. You know, it, it it's it gives you legitimacy, but though you've always had it with me and many in the profession. But now you can take it to a whole new level outside of our profession and communicating what it is that we do to people who just don't know. Yeah, it, it's really extraordinary. And I'm I'm sort of embargoed from talking about my thesis for until we publish some papers on it in the peer review literature outside of chiropractic. That's the plan right now, because it's really um it's a game changer what my thesis has really looked at. So we'll talk a little bit about it at Mile High, but mostly I might save it for next year. So maybe we'll have to do Mile High 12. We'll have you out again. I love yeah, man. having you out here. So again, if, if you're just listening to this and you haven't registered, you need to get to milehighchiro.org, get registered for this year's uh, Mile High Chiropractic Conference, uh, get those hotels, get those flights. And I tell people all the time, if you can plan three or four days before the event or three or four days after the event, you're, co- you're coming to Colorado. You might as well make um, a, a little vacation of it. Bring bring your staff, bring your family, and just have a great time with it with speakers like Simon. We are loaded up this year, Simon. I think we're having close to 30 speakers. Wow. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, across the board, the, the science, the art, the philosophy will all be covered. And particularly with this one, with that mile high spinal tap theme of taking it up a notch, uh, the theme's going to be kind of... of we need to get out. We need to turn it up in this profession to in our offices. We need to turn it up in our community. We need to turn it up outside of our profession. We need to just turn it up. So that's going to be the theme this year. I love that. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Happy to support it. Yeah, I'm excited to come out. I haven't been out there since I think it was 2016 when I came out last time. So and I, I believe you were were you launching Institute Cairo at that time? Yeah, that was right around when we launched. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we had that? a big, yeah, we had a lot of mile high people sign up and, you know, with COVID and my PhD, I had to put the Institute on the back burner for a few years. So now that I'm done with that, we're just focused full on on making it like the premier place for people to go online to really learn the history, learn the philosophy, because the idea is to have a core group of chiropractors worldwide who share the knowledge of the same set of facts about our history, understand the philosophy, and then we can really take it up a notch and push back against the detractors and the literature that's trying to debunk philosophy and debunk subluxation, because we're all coming from the same set of knowledge. Because, you know, all the schools teach things so differently. We need to have a place where people get the facts. And that's really the goal of the Institute. One can argue with facts. Yeah, man, exactly (laughs) it. Well, very good. It was great touching base with you. I look forward to seeing you come September 21st out in the Mile High City. Uh, Again, milehighchiro.org. Visit Simon's site, institutechiro.com. Is it an org or com? Com, yeah, yeah. Um, Institutechiro.com, get there, uh, sign up. You you can always use the contributions. He's spending that much time on books and everything like that, staying a little bit outside of the practice. Every little bit helps, I'm sure. So thank you for your time, Simon. It's great seeing you. Uh, Yeah, you bet, man. I'll, I'll see you very soon, my friend. Great to see you.